Good afternoon, this is Rich Nelson with Allendale covering the wrap-up comments. Today is Tuesday, December 27, 2011 here. So we did have a three-day weekend due to the holidays, and obviously today's action didn't disappoint here. Corn up 13 and three quarters, soybeans up 36 and three quarters, and wheat up 22 and three quarters. So certainly another uh, day of extending these gains based on Argentine uh, weather here. Uh, of course, uh, over the weekend, the key growing areas uh, was, uh, almost completely missed out on rain. Uh, in addition, the uh, looks like dry conditions for the next 10 days out for the main growing areas as far as significant precip. Uh, also, the midday models here uh, also trend a little drier as well for Argentina. So keep uh, keep mind uh, keep in mind, of course, we do have this key driver of which is still pushing us for corn and soybeans, and since wheat is tied to corn prices right now, therefore wheat as well. In addition, uh, in uh, this afternoon's uh, meeting with the brokers each, each uh, Monday afternoon, uh, and in this case Tuesday afternoon, we do a weekly research meeting here. Where we, we discuss some key issues with the brokers. Uh, we also have to point out we do have a different change in, in investor mindset right now as well. Uh, the Dow, uh, with its current trade up 23 higher, uh, this is now the highest price for the uh, stock market since July. And one thing that uh, those of you readers, or uh, those of you research, uh, subscribers have seen from our previous research there is a very strong correlation between the stock market itself and overall commodities so as the stock market may be pushing higher perhaps that will also lead to better uh, confidence regarding uh, commodities as well so that's also one key thing we noted on this afternoon's comments. Uh, over on livestock, uh, we've got a note, uh, cattle down about 105 today on the Feb, uh, a minor setback compared to all of the big gains made last week. Uh, for the short term, we do have some problems with some extra cattle showing up at the front door. Uh, Texas is reporting show list up 20,000 head. Uh, you're probably going to look at something roughly similar for Kansas and maybe about uh, 10,000 head uh, for, for Colorado. So bottom line for right now, we do have plenty of market-ready cattle that we have to work through that weren't done last week. And that may disrupt the cash cattle issue here for maybe this week's trade and maybe even next week as well. So yes, the storm is a very big issue from last week. It will disrupt weight gains, and it will be a reason, uh, an additional reason, to be bullish going into uh, into 2012. For the short term, we're simply saying maybe this cash cattle market may advance, maybe a little too quick, a little too fast. So we do have some additional cattle we have to work through right now, which may cloud things up for the next couple of weeks. Over on hogs, down 10 cents for the Feb contract. Uh, market didn't move too much here today, uh, mainly as we're looking at uh, the bullish reaction from the hogs and pigs report on Friday. And that bullish reaction is a long-term reaction. It, the number, they tighten supplies up, but that uh, won't be seen until October through December of 2012. So Friday's report was a very big bullish report for the long term. For the short term, we're still trying to hammer out a cash hog bottom. Typically, typically cash hog prices decline all the way through the end of December, then stabilize in early January and start their move up from there. So we have a little discrepancy in the hog market between the long-term nature of this market as well as some short-term trying to find a bottom for the cash hog market. Uh, so a lot of things going on here as far as uh, Allendale's research, Allendale's work on, on marketing and, uh, and advice regarding those issues here, and certainly more important for you guys who are listening, uh, what to do with this market as we are rallying right now. So this may represent an opportunity to do some work here as we go into USDA's January supply demand report. And we'll have further updates on our expectations for this report in future commentaries. Now, if you have any questions about uh, about what you've heard here today or some markets regarding Argentina or, in fact, more importantly, what Allendale's view is for the January supply demand report, uh, we'd be happy to talk with you here at Allendale. That's 1-800-262-7538. You can also find out more information uh, by uh, checking out our, our website, which is allendale-inc.com. Also, through that website, you can do not only uh, accessing your research, but you can also uh, get yourself signed up for this conference. Now that we're getting close to this January 1 issue, a lot of people are getting serious about locking in plans for their late January uh, travel plans. And that also means getting your travel plans and your conference ticket lined up for Allendale's January 20th and 21st, conf uh, and 21st annual Outlook conference. And keep in mind that uh, website again, allendale-inc.com. This is Rich Nelson. Have a good trading day and a good trading week.